Good morning, groovy citizens, and happy Friday. You guys, it is Friday. Now, I'm going to say this. It's only 72 degrees outside, but it is so hot in this daggone car, and I didn't want to open up my sunroof because as I'm driving, the wind is going to get too noisy. So I said, well, let me just cut on my air, and I'm acting like I got a full tank of gas, which I don't. I'm almost on ease. So I do need to get some more gas as well. But today is Friday, y'all. We made it through another week so it is friday i want you all to have an amazing day on purpose and an even more amazing weekend okay now before i jump into my topic i am in the car as you can see i'm actually going someplace because i need to get to chick-fil-a it's uh five after ten but i need to get to chick-fil-a before they stop serving breakfast at 10 30 because i am so hungry i'm so hungry i can gnaw my hands off okay so we're not i need my hands so we can't do that and uh, i'm excited because today is my y'all know i call him my scooby snacks today is his birthday so i'm super excited about that so we'll be going out to dinner later on and i'll definitely have to pick up a cake i already have my card and so today's going to be a great day I woke up this morning and as I do every morning, I say today is going to be a great day, not just for me, but for you all as well. Now let's jump into today's topic. So today's topic is keep the faith. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I need you to keep the faith regardless of what it looks like, regardless of what it feels like, regardless of what somebody said or what somebody didn't do. I need you to keep the faith. I'm going to share this quote with you by Bishop T.D. Jakes. I'll unpack it a little bit and I'm going to bid you good day. So he said, it's hard to have faith when people act like your life doesn't matter. It's hard to have faith when they laid you off your job. It's hard to have faith when you run out of money and you ain't got nothing to tell your kids. I know it's not the kind of atmosphere that produced absolute faith it produces questions and if there's anybody out there who's gone through trauma and the trauma has made you wonder and the trauma has made you uncertain and the trauma has made you afraid and the trauma has made you indecisive come on somebody and the trauma has made you doubt god doubt church doubt religion i know it's been a bad period so again that was a quote by bishop td jakes let me put my seatbelt on and oh wow i didn't know my neighbor's tree branch and fell down it was horrible anywho so let's get started but y'all let's unpack that just a little bit i said a lot and that quote will be in the description box as always both on instagram as well as youtube and if you guys have not subscribed to my youtube channel what are you waiting for I mean, really, do I need to take you by the hand and go over to YouTube? Go over there. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because sometimes I share things on YouTube that I don't necessarily share here on Instagram. But let's unpack that just a little bit. Come on, y'all. I'm hungry. And life gets heavy. It gets heavy for all of us. It, it just, it does. And if you ever, if you say that you've ever had a point in time or you've ever been able to go through life and not have issues come up honey you're telling a bald-faced lie because we all have issues that's just life life happens and it happens at the most inopportune times sometimes but life will happen all i'm asking you to do is just keep the faith if, if you if you know anything about god's word god's word says that he will never leave us what or forsake us so if you read his word and you believe what the word of God says, then you know that whatever it is that you're dealing with right now, honey, God is right there with you. Can I just tell you this? Whatever it is that you're dealing with, God knew that that thing was going to happen even before it happened. Now, I know what you're saying because I, I can hear your thoughts. And you're saying, well, if he knew that I was going to lose my job or if he knew that this person was going to walk out on me after they used me or if he knew that my business was going to fall apart or if he knew that an opportunity wasn't going to be granted to me, why did he allow it? And that's where you get confused and that's where you get baffled and dare I say it befuddled as my friend Mark always likes to say but that's where all of that comes in because you're saying well Lord if you knew this stuff was going to happen why didn't you step in and stop it from happening well let me tell you why because there are times in life 
where God has to allow things to happen. Do you realize that if you go through life and everything just falls into place for you, you never have ups and downs, everything is just always a, on a straight path, and you would have no reason to, to, to have faith. You would have no reason to believe in God. You would have no reason to trust God. Why? Because your life is always just perfect. Well, in the real world, that doesn't happen. We all have ups and downs. So if you're at a high point in your life where everything is just going great, everything is falling into place, you know, enjoy it because guess what? Your change is going to come. Now, I'm not saying that because I'm trying to, to be negative or anything like that because I certainly am not, but I'm just keeping things in perspective to let you know that life happens to all of us. It may not always feel good, but I just believe that when God allows things to happen in our lives, he lets it happen for a reason. If, if here's the thing, if God, had, I'm gonna turn right here for now. If God has allowed you to lose your job, it's because he has something better in store for you. He's not saying that you were too good for that job. What he's saying is, is that you were playing small. And so he has something better for you, but he knows that if he does not take away what you already have, then you're not going to reach for the thing that God has for you. So if you lost your job, it's all right. If that relationship doesn't work out, it's all right. Because guess what? God has somebody better in mind that he wants to send you away. But he can't do that because you're already so caught up and in love. This lady is just, oh, that's a dude. He need to stop running his mouth and slow the heck down. But I digress. But, but, but as I've always said before, if God doesn't take away some things from your life, he can't give you other things. Because when your hands are full, I can't show you, <clears throat> I'll show it to you in just a minute. You know, I give you all my, my visual about when your hands are full, how you can't reach for what God has for you. And well, I thought I was gonna stop at the light, but I didn't. Hmm. Well, let me see if I can do it real, real quick for y'all because I, I need to keep my hand on the wheel, at least one of them. <laughs> but you know, I told y'all before that when you're, let me drive my elbows, when your hands are full, you can't grasp that thing that God has for you because your hands are already full. He needs to free up your hands so that he can give you whatever it is that he wants to give you. So I said all of that to say this, you've got to keep the faith. You got to keep the faith that if God has done it before, he's gonna do it again. You got to keep the faith that at one time you started out with a job, you weren't making a lot of money and you were always left trying to figure out, Lord, how am I gonna pay my bills? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do that? How am I gonna do the other? And guess what, he made a way. He put you where you are. Okay, so you don't have that job anymore that you were making good money on, or decent money for that matter. But it's all right, because just like he gave you the job you just had, he's gonna give you one that's even better. I, again, I don't care what anybody says, the faith that I have in God says that when God takes one thing away, he gives me something better. I remember years back now, I was in a relationship, and, and you know how you meet somebody and you think, wow, you're gonna spend the rest of your life with this person? And that didn't quite work out. And I told y'all before, not only did he break up with me once, he broke up with me twice. And I'm of the belief that if you break up with me once, shame on you. But you break up with me twice, sh um, shame on me. And I'll be damned if it's going to be a third time. So, you know, things didn't work out. And I just decided I was not going to give him another chance because I, was, I just wasn't going down that road again. I had had enough. And there was a reason why I was sharing that with you. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. And, and like I said, I thought that that relationship was going to last a lifetime. But now in hindsight, I know that God had to take that relationship away because he knew I was settling in order to bless me with the relationship that I have right now. So again, anytime your relationships don't work out, yeah, it hurts, you know, you, because you weren't prepared for it. You weren't expecting it, but it's all right because I believe that God has something better for you. But again, he can't send on that other man or that woman if you're trying to hold on to someone else that, that just really means you're no good. And so I hope that something that I shared with you today 
resonates with you. I hope it really makes you stop and think and, and, and I hope it helps you to increase your faith. Like I said, I, it's easy. Let me say this. It's easy to have faith in God when he's opening doors for you. It's easy to have faith in God when he's allowing everything to fall into place. It's easy to have faith in God when you don't have financial issues. It's easy to have faith in God when your kids are acting like they have uh, some sins. It's easy. When, when everything is going great, it, oh, it's easy to have faith. And you walk around telling folks, hey, I'm blessed and highly favored. You know, it is easy to do all of that. But let your life start to fall apart. And then I want to see how your faith holds up. Do you trust God when you don't have all the money that you need to take care of a bill? Do you trust God when you don't have the job, even if it was the best job in the world, but you don't have that job anymore? Do you trust God when it looks like all the pieces of your life are just falling apart and nothing that you do seems to be the glue that's gonna bring it back together? Can you trust God then? Where is your faith when your life is not going the way that you want it to go. Where's your faith then, honey? Let me tell you something. I have faith no matter what. I have faith no matter what. I believe that God is always going to make a way no matter what it is I'm dealing with, no matter what it is I'm going through. I just believe in the faith of God. But again, like I said, you have to get in your word. <laughs> Excuse me, if you don't know God's word, you need to get into the word. Start reading his word and you have to believe it, whether you see it or not. Because, you know, like I said, it's easy to have faith when everything is going great. But it's not so easy when it seems like your life is falling apart and God just, what are you doing, people? Come on, Jesus. When it seems like God just doesn't care about you or your situation or whatever it is that you're going through. You, that's when your faith starts to wander. So all I'm saying to you is, honey, I need you all to have faith, to know that God has your back. He's never left you before, and he's not going to start doing it now. So you guys, that's again, that's my time. I hope something that I said blesses you tremendously. I want you all to go out there, have an amazing day on purpose, have an even greater weekend. If you're new to watching my videos, I want to say welcome. So glad to have you here. I'll see you all again tomorrow for another car conversation. And if you're new, I do car conversations or car vlogs every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. If this is not your first rodeo, I want to say welcome back. So glad to see you guys. I always miss you when I don't get to see you. Again, y'all know the drill. You know my spiel. I love each and every one of you to the moon and back. And there is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, that you can do about that. That will never change. That will never change. I love you all. I want to see you win. I want nothing but the best for you. So go out there. Live your life to the fullest. And make sure that you are working on your faith because your faith will take you far. Until tomorrow, take care.